How's it going? Welcome back to the Redbeard Outdoors podcast. I'm Jonathan, your host, and here at Redbeard Outdoors, I talk about faith, family, fitness, and the outdoors. And today being Tuesday, you get the Tinkering Tuesday edition of the podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, the video here, because I love tinkering, I love gear, I love just talking about it in general. So I want to talk about it as if you're here in the room with me and uh, provide some value to you. If I provide value to you, I'd really appreciate it if you're listening on the audio version to go and follow the podcast and leave a review. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below uh, answering any questions that may come up throughout the video. Ask me some questions as well. And I want to remind you guys as, as well that if you are looking for any of the gear items that I've spoken about in the past, any outdoors gear, workout apparel, supplements, whatever it may be, check out the links down below. It'll save you some money. All the companies that I've chosen to work with, uh, part of that partnership is I want to give back to you, the listener, the audience, and therefore we provide some kind of discount for you. So go check it out. Today, I'm going to talk about my favorite training shoe for the gym. So I've recently talked about the GORUCK Rough Runner, which I'm not much of a runner, guys. I 5K is kind of my thing. Like I don't really do much more than that if I do run at all. I probably should run more. But, you know, it is what it is. So you guys will be familiar with this shoe right here. If you didn't watch that review, definitely go watch it. Uh, but, yes, the GORUCK Rough Runner is an amazing shoe. 10-millimeter uh, drop here on the heel. If you know much about running shoes, um, you'll know about the drop. So 10 millimeter drop, it's got some extra cushion right here along the inside. It's very durable, reinforced along this side here as well. And uh, great tread. And you can see I've put it through its paces. It's great for rucking, a little bit more supportive, less squishy than a typical running shoe, uh, but an amazing shoe nonetheless. And yeah, I'm not going to apologize for the shoe being dirty because, well, I use it. <clears throat> so, along with that is here the ballistic trainer. So, the trainer, guys, I, I love this thing. You see it's pretty, uh, you know, the, the tread isn't nearly as aggressive as the Rough Runner here, but it has some good tread. It's very sticky. Uh, what I've noticed here with this trainer is I, I really enjoy this shoe a whole lot. There are so many different colorways right now on the rough runner. There's only two colorways. So you can get the, uh, the black with the white sole like this, or you can get a white shoe with, uh, with the white sole. And then it's got a red symbol for the go ruck. Uh, so whatever you prefer. And then here is the ballistic trainer. So I want to talk to you guys about this. If you're into any kind of weightlifting, if you're into any kind of, whether it be CrossFit or cross training or uh, rucking, things along those lines, that you lift weights and need some good support, a good stable platform to work off of, and a shoe that will hold up to some abuse, these are your shoe, guys. Okay? Now, I'll just give you a good little view here of this, the Ballistic Trainer. And we'll go over, I'm going to read off the list here for all the people that want the specifics on this and what the uh, details are of the materials, etc. But the Ballistic Trainer has been my gym shoe for a little while now, and I absolutely love it compared to other gym shoes that I've had in the past. I, for weightlifting, I want to have a good, solid, I'm not going to slip platform. It's not a zero drop shoe. This is an eight millimeter drop. So not quite as intense as a lot of running shoes out there that are generally around a 12 millimeter drop. Um, but this one has an eight millimeter drop. It's got a wide enough toe box that for me, I went half a size up. So normally I'm around a 10. I went up to a 10 and a half and I haven't had any rubbing issues, no pinching or any of that that I've had in some other trainers uh, that I've used before that are a little bit too narrow and not as flexible for the movements that I need. So I do everything from squatting to deadlifting, front squats, uh, you know, lifting in general, guys, just cross training in general. The program that I'm using right now for that is built for the hunt by first form. Uh, we'll definitely do another review on that in the future. So let's go down the specifics here of the ballistic trainer. So excuse me as I read off the list here, guys. So the lace area, the midfoot and heel 
is made of two panels of 1680D Cordura Ballistic Nylon. And so that's pretty tough, guys. So the midsole right here, the laces, the midsole, and the heel. So everything from basically right here back is made from 1680D or 1680D Cordura Ballistic Nylon. So super, super tough, abrasion resistant, and a great midfoot and heel support during those dynamic movements. If you do any type of cross training, if you're if you're using the sandbags for that as well, I'd highly recommend grabbing some sandbags from GORUCK. Guys, you can drag them across the concrete, throw them around. It's not going to bust open on you. And uh, it's a great, great warranty, that lifetime warranty. So going back to that, that's what the, the material is from here back is a dual layer. So two or two panels of 1680D Cordura Ballistic Nylon. I mentioned the eight millimeter drop. So... Uh, basically it's a little bit more of a drop than a lot of other shoes have in the market for weightlifting. Uh, there's a lot of reasons some people are going to want to have the zero drop, whatever, but basically here's the way that, uh, the, the people that designed the shoe explain it. So more than most other lifting shoes on the market, uh, creates the best biomechanical advantage when lifting heavy loads. So your squats, your cleans, your snatches, or moving more than 400 meters. So running, rucking, etc. It's going to provide that support for you, a little bit more of a drop from heel to toe, uh, so that you can get that more support whenever you're lifting those heavy loads, or like I said, running more than 400 meters, or rucking uh, as well, you're going to get better support. Okay. So also with the performance here, you're going to see uh, on the sole, three different rubber compounds forming a single seamless rubber outsole. For the midsole, some high rebound flexible EVA in the forefoot provides cushion and support for explosive movements, firm stable EVA in the heel to provide a stable platform to keep you grounded when you're lifting or you're squatting. So guys, uh, for all of those, those are all the technical aspects of it, right? Uh, for those of you that are that like to geek out over the, the stuff, you go check it out in the link. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box so you guys can go check out these shoes and the specifics that maybe you're looking for. Like I said, tons of colorways, um, so many different options. Guys, if you're looking for non-marking shoes, they have those. If you're looking for the all black like this, that'll match with anything. There you go. Uh, I haven't found any problems with these at all. Um, they don't slip off my feet. I don't get any heel rub. Uh, great cushion on the inside here. Great soles as well. Um, I mean, I, I really can't find anything that I don't like. They look good. They're not crazy branded everywhere. Obviously, I like the arrowhead because I'm an archer. I think that's awesome. I love Goruck symbol. Uh, but guys, this thing has held up to some good workouts up to this point, And they still look pretty clean. So maybe I need to get them a little bit more dirty. Uh, but guys, there's the comparison there between the ballistic trainer and the rough runner. Okay. So depending on what kind of training you're looking for, if you're more of a runner rucking outdoor type, I'd go with the rough runner. If you're looking more for weightlifting, mixing in some rucking, some running, but more uh, cross training, weightlifting style, a good looking gym shoe. This is the one that I would go with that ballistic trainer. Um, there's really not much more that I can say about it, guys. I, uh, for those of you with wide feet that maybe you're worried about it, I'd say maybe go half a size up. Um, other than that, the sizing's pretty, pretty good. It's not the most narrow shoe that I found, but it's also definitely not the widest. Um, I haven't, like I said, haven't had any rubbing, didn't really have any break in period per se, uh, that I noticed. So honestly, guys, I would just go and check it out. I'm going to leave the links to go check it out down below. Definitely go check it out. What I'm going to ask of you guys right now, now that I'm done talking about shoes here for a second, uh, is I'm going to ask that you guys leave a comment down below as to what you look for in a trainer or a running shoe, and maybe even some colorways that would be interesting for you because you want to look good too, right? You want to train good. You want to look good. I mean, 
I'm not all about aesthetics for the way it looks towards other people, but I want to look good for me. I want to look good for, I want my bows to, to look good. I don't want it to be all funky and crazy mix matching colors. That's not my style. I like things to look clean and set up, taken care of the way that I like to take care of my body and take care of everything else that I do. So uh, leave a comment down below as to what you're looking for in a trainer or a shoe uh, for training in general. And uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, if you haven't checked out the podcast over on the audio channel, guys, we are going to be pulling either once a month or bi-weekly, so twice a month, uh, a random review from the channel, and we're going to be doing giveaways coming up here pretty soon. We've got some big stuff coming there. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We have more gear reviews coming, some amazing conversations coming as well, and I love interacting with you guys, so please leave a comment. Shoot me a message over on Instagram uh, when this review comes out. Uh, we also have the Built for the Hunt program with uh, First Form Outdoors. So the way you get the Built for the Hunt program is you're going to check out the First Form app. So the First Form app, again, the link is going to be down below. Go to the First Form app, download it, join in on the First Form app. What you get is the ability to track your nutrition. You get calls, classes, things along those lines in the app itself. You get a personalized advisor in the app that's going to go through your workouts with you, your nutrition with you, make sure that you're taken care of, and you're going to be able to get these specialized workouts. So the workouts are programmed by trainers, NASM certified, and a bunch of other letters that I'm not 100% sure of, CSCS, NASM certified, um, and a bunch of other certifications out there, guys. We've got training from beginners to advanced. You've got cross training styles. You've got traditional lifting. You have this new, these new two programs that I'm going to bring up to you guys, though, is built for the hunt. I know a lot of you guys that are watching my channel and listening to the podcast are all about getting out and hunting in the fall or spring bear or just getting out ready for the hunt in general. So we've created this program that is built for the hunt. And that's through this app, the first form app. If you download the app and then you go and join the first form outdoors, Facebook group, red beards, fit crew, and shoot me a message that you've downloaded the app and you want the built for the hunt program. Let me know. And we will give you special access to that. Not everyone has access to it right now. This is a very specialized thing for First Form Outdoors. And so I want to invite you to be able to come and train the way that we train for Built for the Hunt program. It's amazing. It's cross training, weightlifting, rucking, a ton of things mixed in and involved that will get you ready for the mountains. Or if you're a whitetail hunter, we'll get you ready for the whitetail woods. Uh, whatever it may be that you're choosing to hunt, we want to get you ready for that. So... Drop a comment down below on your thoughts on this as well. When you download it, uh, shoot me a message. Let me know that you've downloaded it and you would like the Built for the Hunt program. I'd love to have you in there. And guys, again, favorite shoe to train with, the Ballistic Trainer by GORUCK. So go check out the link for that. But down below, use the code McCormick10. It'll save you 10% at checkout, save you some money. And in turn, you're supporting the show so that I can keep doing this for you guys, bringing you guys these awesome reviews and helping you out. So if you have any other questions, guys, again, feel free to comment. I'm not scared of comments. I actually prefer that you do so I can start a conversation with you. So drop them down below. Love to help you out. Have an amazing day. Thanks for tuning into this Tinkering Tuesday and hope you can get out, live your life and love it.